Welcome everybody to this video cheat sheet of shutting down a BGP peer neighbor. We do the baseline show command show IP BGP summary to ensure that we already have a BGP adjacency. And then we're going to do the debug IP BGP command to see how things unfold when we shut our neighbors down. And then we'll verify uh, once we're done shutting the neighbor down uh, that the neighbor actually was shut down with the show IP BGP summary command. So let's look at the topology. On routers 1 and router 4, we're going to shut down on these two routers the neighbor to router 2. So when we're done, router 2 should not have an, uh, an eBGP or an iBGP uh, peer relationship to router 1 and router 4. I'm going to do the debug IP BGP command on router 2 so we can keep track how things unfold as we shut these neighbors down. So the way you shut down a, a peer to a specific neighbor is you specify the neighbor. You say neighbor, and you specify the neighbor underneath your BGP. Didn't want that to happen. Underneath your BGP. And then you simply say shut down. We want to shut down this peer. So that's what we're going to do here on router 1. Let's just start with a show IP BGP summary to ensure that the adjacency is up between 1 and 2 and it is. It's been up for 19 hours. It's received 11 prefixes from router 2. So let's go ahead and shut that neighbor down. Once again, neighbor, specify the neighbor, and then the keyword shut down does the trick. Now we should, should see the, the, the neighbor go down, which we did. It said neighbor down admin shut down. Let's do a show IP BGP summary real quick just to make sure to see the difference in the commands where before it had been up for 19 hours and it's received 11 prefixes now it's been down for 14 seconds and the state is idle and it says admin right here because it was admin shut down we shut it down administratively so let's go back over to router 2 and look at the debug output and we see that from router 1 that we're on router 2 now router 2 reports that router 1 remote close so router one actually went through the process of shutting down this session because that's where we told it to shut down. So I'm going to put some enters in here so we can see the difference when we also, so that was an eBGP neighbor shutdown. We're also now going to shut down an iBGP session between router four and router two. So let's go to router four and verify that the neighbor adjacency is up, which it is. It's been up for 21 hours to neighbor 2. So you shut down an iBGP neighbor just like you do an eBGP neighbor. You say the neighbor, the IP address, and then the keyword shut down. So let's put that in on router 4. We will see the, the neighbor adjacency go down, but we're going to verify it with a show IP BGP summary command. And sure enough, once again, we went from being up for 21 hours here to router 2 to now we're idle. We're, it's I, idle admin because once again we shut it down, and at the time I did the command, it had been shut down for 12 seconds. So let's go back over to router 2. And here's more of the, the same output where from router 4, the remote close came in, 4 reset the session. And so basically it's saying that everything came from router 4, which is exactly where we shut the neighbor down. Okay, so we shut down a BGP neighbor on router 4 and router 1 back to router 2. We started off with the show IP BGP summary to verify that the adjacencies were up. We then did a debug IP BGP on router 2 to watch the events unfold from router 2's perspective. We then shut the neighbors down on router 1 and router 4 back to 2 and then did a show IP BGP summary to confirm that the neighbor did go down. So that is how you shut down a BGP neighbor whether it's an IBGP or eBGP peer.